Speedbusters is hitting the streets just north of downtown Tampa today, and we understand this community has been complaining about speeders for a really long time. So what's going on, Leslie? Well, I tell you what, patience is said to be a virtue, but one community leader has been trying to put the brakes on the drivers on Ridgewood Avenue for nearly 15 years. This is Stacy Warder. She is tenacious about her Ridgewood community. She even won the best communication in a small neighborhood award. But there is an issue that eludes her. I moved in in 2002, and ever since then, traffic calming has been one of our main concerns in this neighborhood. I already got somebody at 36 miles per hour. <laughs> That's just, there's only been a couple cars that go by. Both of them are going above 10 miles per hour. Is that normal? Yes. Stacy has tried everything. We bought a bunch of Drive Like Your Kids Live Here signs. We've worked with the city, and they gave us some reflectors and these little blue signs that say, please slow down. The city of Tampa also installed a traffic light at Columbus to alleviate through traffic and added sidewalks. But the cars keep coming. Look at that guy. Come here, Kathy. Check this out. Woo, he keeps going. 40 miles an hour. Neighbor Phyllis Marsh is also frustrated with speeders. Phyllis had three cats killed by cars. My neighbors were out there, and my husband and I didn't even hear what happened, but we got out there, and, and we had to put her down. She joined Kathy in getting a neighborhood speeding petition sent to TPD. At this point, what would you like to see done? Well, if we could just have some more police presence out here, I think they could make a lot of money. And then another speeder. Okay, well, that guy just went by us right now. And that vehicle, 37 miles per hour. In a 25 mile per hour zone. I reached out to Tampa police about Kathy's speeding concerns. They have patrolled the area throughout the years, but they couldn't promise that they would increase their presence. And of course, I will continue to follow up. So if you have a problem with speeding in your neighborhood, go to my WFLA Facebook page and I'll bring speed busters to your street.